Welcome to the advanced instruction on how to play Ruse. First of all, I would like to get into the details of the differences among the deception skills known as Ruse in the game. You can actually break down the Ruse into four main categories. Those that allow you to hide information, such as the camouflage net, which make your buildings invisible in sector on the map. Also, ruses which allow you to create fake information, like the decoy army, which uh, you're going to create to have your opponents lose time and effort trying to destroy them. Also, ruses which steal information from the enemy, such as the decryption plan, which basically visualizes the orders given by the enemy to his units. My favorite. And finally, there are ruses which affect the psychology of units, such as the fanaticism ruse, which makes your units fight to the death. There's no retreat even though they're damaged, so you can really overrun the enemy with this ruse. In the game, you can play six different factions, each designed with a specific gameplay flavor. I'm going to ask Alexi, creative director of Ruse, to explain this to me. So Alexi, what is the best adapted gameplay style to me? Well, um, it depends on what you like and what kind of strategist you are. Each faction has been designed in a different way in order to, uh, I would say, cover the spectrum of all the the different strategists that exist. For example, the US Army is a very well-balanced army, meaning that you get a lot of uh, very good units and cheap units. At the contrary, the German Army has a different approach. You have the best unit, the most powerful, but they will be the most expensive units. So when you will play the German army, you will have to make a lot of choices because you will not be able to have all the units on the battlefield. So you will have to um, focus on different uh, kind of unit you want. Another example is, for example, for the Britain army, they have tremendous um, air power, air superiority and all the aircraft. So this is something when you will play these uh, nations, you will have to, uh, to have in mind, meaning that each nation has his um, very strong uh, assets and also some weaknesses. Well, this gives us a better view of what the factions can do, but reconnaissance is very important in the game. So, Alexi, can you explain the importance of reconnaissance and perception in the game? Yes, indeed, reconnaissance is one of the key to victory, because reconnaissance is absolutely necessary uh, um, in a strategic point of view, on a strategic point of view, you have to know what your enemy is doing and to have clear vision of the unit you have uh, in front of you. The second point is on a tactical point of view, um, you need to have reconnaissance unit in order to allow your very powerful unit, which has uh, some high, uh, some long range cannon, to be able to shoot at their maximum distance to benefit from their uh, full power. So. These two elements are very important to, uh, to have in mind to play, um, to play more efficiently at Ruth. And if you don't have any reconnaissance units? Of course, you will be able to um, use the Ruth spy plan, which will do exactly the same thing for a short amount of time. But of course, as it is a Ruth, there is a kind of Ruth for this. Uh, for example, the radio silence will directly prevent um, the opponent from spying what your units are and where are, uh, they are uh, precisely. So that explains the importance of reconnaissance in the game. I want to broach also um, another very, very important type of unit in the game, the airplanes. So they are handled in a specific way in the game. And uh, Alexi, can you explain the philosophy on how the airplanes were designed and how you use them in the game? The idea about the, um, uh, the aircraft is to change the balance of power in a specific zone in order to support your ground troops. For example, you have your um, front line and you want to push forward. You need more firepower at this very, um, uh, very spot. So you will order your 
uh, air support aircraft directly to help your unit on the ground. To be able to do so very quickly, we've created the uh, fast strike uh, interface in the game. Um, this is a very simple way to uh, directly order um, fighter bombers, bombers or uh, uh, fighters to directly intervene uh, on the battlefield. And of course, you can still improve your perception with air recon as well. Absolutely, uh, which is, like we said, something that is very important. And more of this, you will be able to use airborne troops in order to project your force in a better way. Thank you for these comments. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the veteran instruction coming soon.